And then tied with the complexes, he talks about everyday concepts, that the sun rises, earth is flat, with academic concepts. And makes the point that the academic concepts that children are introduced to in school come from conceptual systems. And that these concepts then, he says, grow down into the subsoil that everyday concepts have. You can't have academic concepts without that subsoil. But it's not that they, it's, it, 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 it's a second story built on it. There's a penetration between the two. And this is where a key notion of his in imitation comes in. That the imitation that teachers do is not similar to the imitation we would think about with an animal imitating or a young, very young child imitating. What he's talking about is teachers providing transparency so that students can see the thinking processes that, the, the, that you need in order to access that concept and to imitate those thinking processes. By doing that, the, the teacher is helping to raise up the, the everyday concepts and to make the connection. He then says that this link between the two is the zone of proximal development. And this is a, a very different reading than the, the one we t tend to get 